turning your artwork into stickers. Hi, I'm Wishy Washy, and today we're talking about making stickers. In a previous video, I was able to share with you different methods that I use to make prints out of my artwork, and I'll make sure to put a link to that in the description of this video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a few different companies and methods that I've used to make stickers of my own over the years. Now remember, all of these views are based on my own personal experiences. What works for me may not work for you. At the very least though, this should help you get started on your journey. Also, if you wanna skip ahead to a certain section in this video, I'm trying to set up chapters, so they, they should be here, they should be here. <laughs> To start us off, let's go with the first method that I ever tried and that I still use on occasion. At home printing. In my previous video about prints, I did talk about the printers that I use, so I'll do a little bit of a recap here. But before we get into that, let's talk about setup, and for this, I'm gonna be using Photoshop. Now, you don't need to use Photoshop. You can certainly use the tool of your choice, but I just wanna use this as an example. One of the most important things you're going to do is setting up the document for printing specifically. Now, since I'm going to be using regular size paper, I'm going to set this up to letter, and that is eight and a half by 11 inches. Now, some of the things you want to notice here, first off is the size, obviously eight and a half by 11 inches. That is correct. Next, you want to look at the resolution. Now, make sure it's somewhere around 300 pixels per inch. This is going to make sure you get a good quality on your stickers. Now, one thing to notice here, they automatically set this to RGB color. What you wanna do is change it over to CMYK. Now, I could do a whole video on this on why certain colors for certain different things, but uh, an easy way to remember is RGB is for digital and CMYK is for print. So if you're ever trying to print something, make sure it's on CMYK. All right, let's hit create. Okay, here we are. We've got our nice little blank canvas so we can start making some stickers. <laughs> For this video, I'm gonna be using one of my Space Grump guys. This guy was a little angry retro gaming guy. He was, he's not happy at his retro gaming console. So let's, let's turn him into a sticker. <laughs> now, one thing that I like to do is to scale it down. I like to make sure that my stickers are no bigger than two and a half inches. That way, it allows me to cut and give it a border, a nice white border, and make sure it's no bigger than three inches. Three inches is usually the max size that I like to go personally for my stickers. There's multiple ways to do this. I have a little scale that I have right here so I can just drop it down myself and make sure uh, on the sides here, I know exactly where I'm going with things. All right, so now that little, that little sucker's two and a half inches by two and a half inches, somewhere around there. Uh, so let's, let's, let's fix them up. And the first part of doing this is a good old copy and paste. We're going to try to move it around and arrange it in a way where there's enough room that we can still do some cutting. But then we also want to make sure that we have enough here that we can uh, actually fit it in and maximize the use of this paper as good as much as possible. Now, when going through the first time, I found that I wasn't actually maximizing the paper as much as I should be. So I shrunk it down just a little bit more and I was able to fit three of them per side here. So here we are, now I have it set up. It should allow me to cut around nicely, give a nice little white border so it's not too crammed. I'm also maximizing space. Another fun thing that I've seen people do, I'm not gonna do it here, but I'll just show you as an example, is sometimes people use the little extra spots that are in here uh, to make little mini stickers. <laughs> sometimes it's pretty funny. Uh, they will use those to like give the little giveaways or something like that. Uh, for the actual print process, I'm not gonna be doing this, but I just wanted to show you an example of that as well for using the blank space. Okay, now that the art is set up, let's talk about the printers. There are actually two types of printers that I use. I'm gonna leave links in my description to both of them. Now the first printer that I'm gonna show you is the one that I actually use for stickers that I plan on selling on my store. I also have a monthly membership, but I don't actually use this for that. I'll show you that method later. <laughs> this right here is the Canon Pixma IP8720, and this is what I use. I did a lot of research into printers, and I found that I like Canon the best. I thought they had a great quality. I thought they had a decent price for what they were giving, and um, I thought they had a lot of really good reviews. This one right here, the IP8720, was within my budget, and this is the one I went with, and I've been happy with it so far. Now the second printer I'm going to show you is one that I use mainly for my freebies or giveaways or things like that. I don't actually use this one for what I'm going to sell or for my membership. Join the membership. This is the HP Envy 6000 series. And you're probably wondering, why would I even use this if I have a Canon? One simple answer to that, it's cost. With the Canon series, you're going to have to buy ink. Now every time I refill the ink, it's about $70 a pop. 
That really adds up fast. However, with the HP Envy, I can join HP Instant Ink. With the Instant Ink, I can print up to 100 pages for about $6 a month. You can also get more pages if you need it, and it's not that much of an increase. This helps me for my stickers when I have to print all my shipping labels. I get to print pretty much everything I need, $6 a month. Now, I'm a smaller artist, so some of you larger artists, this may not work for you if you print lots and lots and lots of things every month. However, the quality is not as good as the Canon. That's why these stickers I do not sell on my store or make a part of my membership. Join the membership. So let's go print some stickers. And for this example, I am gonna use the Canon because if you're here and watching this video, you probably plan on selling your stickers. All right, for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away the white background because we don't need to print that. Usually doesn't print it anyway, but I like to be extra sure. Just take it away and make sure nothing extra goes in there. Uh, and then we're gonna hit print. All right, now this is all up here. I have it on HP Envy, and I'm gonna switch it over to my Canon. Fax, who still uses fax? That's crazy. All right, everything's all set here. Now, you are gonna wanna make sure your print settings are set up. Uh, I already know mine are. Uh, each printer is different, so make sure you consult your printing manufacturers, booklet, I don't know what it's called anymore. But make sure you go with whatever your printer is, should be. Uh, there's usually videos online or uh, websites that talk about ideal settings. All right, this looks good to me, and I am going to uh, hit print. While that's printing, I figured we'd talk about what paper I use. Uh, now, I've gone through a lot of different paper, and currently what I'm using is from Buttercrafts. Um, two reasons. One, I think it's actually a pretty good quality at a decent price. Uh, link will be in the description. And two, I, I like this little dude here. Um, he's pretty awesome. He's a little, like, printer eating some butter. <laughs> Uh, for me, again, this is all going to be down to preference. I like glossy. I really think that that gives a nice shine to it. I like it more than matte. I use matte for things like my envelope closers, stuff like that. Uh, but if I'm actually going to sell the stickers or even the ones that I want to give away, I like a nice glossy finish on it. However, there's tons of stuff out there. Try different brands, uh, try different types, and see what, what you like best. Also, uh, make sure that it says it's for desktop inkjet printers. Uh, there are different types, but I'm showing inkjet printers. So if you're following my videos, make sure you get inkjet printer sticker paper. <laughs> okay, the stickers are all done. Here they are, ooh, all printed out. Now, the next step that I'm gonna talk about is completely optional. However, I highly recommend it. Make them water resistant. Cannot stress to you enough how much a difference there is between just regular stickers that if water gets on them, the ink runs off, and the water resistant ones. It boosts the appeal to customers, it gives them more weight, the quality feels better. There's so many reasons to use this. So you're probably asking, how do you do this? <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> you do this by putting a laminate over them. There are tons of different options out there of ways to do this and brands of different laminates. I'm going to just show you what I use and you can start from there. <laughs> For me, I use Avery. Um, it is nine inches by 12 inches of self-adhesive laminating sheets. The number is 73601. You can always look up Avery products by their number as well. Now for these, I can usually get about 50 of these. It's a package of 50 for somewhere around $20. Again, I'll put a link in the description for you. Now, when you take them out, they look like this. There's gonna be a little part here that you peel off and then you just slide them on top of it and then you cut off the extras on the side and what is left is a coverage over your stickers making them water resistant. So let me show you a quick example of what it looks like when it's on, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, and here's what it looks like when you put the laminating paper on top. You wanna make sure you smooth it all out, get those bubbles out. And if anyone wants me to do a longer tutorial video on this process, please just let me know in the comments. It can take some time to get good at this, so if you mess it up the first couple times, don't worry. It took me, honestly, it took me like 25 times before I actually felt like comfortable with it. But again, I'm happy to do a very detailed video on the steps that I take. Just let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. Now, the next part of this video is gonna cause some controversy. Oh no, controversy. Yes, I, I cut my stickers by hand. I know, I know, I know, a cricket. Why don't you use a cricket? You should go get yourself a cricket. Honestly, I've heard so many mixed things about crickets, I just never got one. 
but I'll make you a promise. If somehow magically this video gets to a thousand likes, I will go buy a cricket and do a video on a cricket, okay? Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I only have like less than 300 followers, but if somehow it gets to a thousand likes, I'll, I'll go get a cricket. But yes, I cut all these by hand and I'll tell you why. When I do stickers, I usually do one bulk run of them, give it out to my membership, sell the extras, and then I never reprint. If you're doing on demand, this may be the method for you, but if you're doing it more of my style or if you're new and just starting out, I have a better method for you. Online print shops are my main go-to choice right now. I'm gonna go over a few different shops that I tried and I'm gonna share my experiences with those shops. So one disclaimer here, all of these reviews are based on my personal experience. If there is a shop that you think I should try that I didn't review in this video, let me know. Or if there's a shop that I reviewed and you don't really agree with my opinion, that's okay too. Let me know in the comments. If I see enough that disagree with what I'm saying, I think I'm gonna have to reevaluate that shop. Anyway, let's get started with the first shop and you've probably heard of it already. All right, let's talk about Sticker Mule. This was one of the first sites that I ever used because I kept seeing advertisements everywhere. So I was like, ah, let's give it a try. Sticker Meal also has some of the best deals. They go through and they have weekly deals and they let you try out different products every week for a really cheap price. For this example, this week it is $29 for 50 coasters. It's normally $65 and there's free shipping. So great way to try out some coasters. But we're talking about stickers, so let's go set up some stickers. For this, we're gonna click on products and go to stickers. Look at all the different sticker types they have. Die cut stickers, circle stickers, rectangle stickers. Uh, if you go down, they even have a few different options here for holographic and glitter as far as the different types. They also have some static clings ones, which are pretty cool. But we're going to focus on die cut stickers. The reason I say this is because that is the number one type of sticker that you see being sold. And they have lots of different options here. I always go with 3x3. Three three. I think it's a very good size and it's also very affordable at that range as well. For quantity starting out, there's 50 stickers for $72. That's about $1.50 a sticker, you figure, somewhere around there. We're gonna select this and click continue. Now this section is gonna let us upload our artwork here. I'm gonna select one and then we'll get started. Now I selected my little space grump rage guy, the guy who's rage quitting playing video games. Uh, that's uploaded, we're gonna click continue. All right, this brings it to the screen. Uh, it'll show me here what my quantity is, what my total is, and then we could check out and get started. $72, free shipping. The site itself is pretty easy to use. I love the weekly deals that they have and the sticker quality when it came in were actually pretty good. They have a nice feel to them. The sticky's nice. It's definitely water resistant. I liked it. However, I thought the cost could probably come down a bit, so I wanted to try some other sites. So quick recap on my thoughts on Sticker Mule. The pros, easy to use website, weekly deals, and decent quality on the stickers. Some cons, felt that they were a little bit pricey compared to some other shops. Also, I know other sites have different sticker types than this as far as the paper is concerned. So I wanted to move on and see what else I could find. So let's go to a second option. The next site I tried is Vinyl Disorder. I gave them a shot because I kept having these advertisements with Wee Man from Jackass showing up on my YouTube videos. <laughs> Sounded pretty legit. I wanted to give them a try and see like how they were. Maybe they could get my business. Plus, I heard from other people that they get pretty good deals on their stickers, so let's go. Now, first off, I am recording this on July 30th, so I'm not sure why they still have a 4th of July sale going on, but okay. <laughs> As you can see, there is like a 50% off coupon. This is what I heard, that they always have some sort of deals like this, so that's pretty awesome. All right, up here we have our custom stickers options. Uh, again, let's just go with the cut to shape stickers. That's the one that you see most popular. All right, cool, lots of sizes here. So let's go again with our three by three, and let's see the price here. Okay, 50 of these are only $47, so that's a lot better than the 72 we saw before. There's also a lot of different options here as far as vinyl, air release vinyl, clear vinyl, static cling, oil slick, reflective, pretty cool, lots of different uh, laminate finishes as well, gloss, matte, dry erase, cracked ice hollow, ooh, what's an example of that? Ooh, I like that, nice. Very cool, lots of different options here, uh, so let's just select a very basic one and go with the upload. All right, so all I did was uh, hit upload and click add to cart and it's right here, ready to go, $47.13. Now this is the part of the video where my personal experiences are gonna come in. 
When trying out Vinyl Disorder, I put in a pretty large order for my monthly membership. It wasn't a huge order, but it was probably around 300 stickers, maybe like six designs, something like that. This one was for my monthly membership. Join the monthly membership. So after waiting a while, I took a look and noticed that my order was still listed as in production, even though it was getting closer to the delivery date. So I wanted to reach out and see if they could confirm that we were still going to be able to hit that target delivery date. I won't go into too much detail here, but let's just say that the customer service for it wasn't very helpful. So if I go to their website, I see that they're still having issues. It says production and shipping times have increased due to overwhelming demand. And you can click more info to read that. The stickers were good quality and I did end up getting them at a reasonable delivery date, but I had to email them twice. It wasn't a very nice response that I got. Uh, clearly they're still overwhelmed. Also, it's just little things like the fact that even right now they're having a 4th of July sale on July 30th. It made me want to see what else is out there. And if you all have had much better experiences with them, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do a re-review of the company. But for now, let's recap. Pros, fair price, discounts, good quality stickers. Cons, slow production, poor customer service, and it just doesn't have a professional feel like the other companies did. So let's talk about the company I use now. All right, y'all, let's talk about Sticker App. They are my go-to for a number of different reasons. All right, let's go to their custom stickers section. And we'll take a look at the setup here. Again, with the other sites, let's do the same exact thing. Let's go three inches by three inches. Let's do 50. There's 50 for $53. Now it's not as cheap as Vinyl Disorder was, but it's also not as expensive as Sticker Mule was. So a decent price. Let's also look at what kind of special materials they have. Here they have a ton. Uh, holographic, glow in the dark, glitter, clear, mirror, prismatic, brushed aluminum, num, 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 num. <laughs> The list goes on and on. Also, I highly recommend getting the sample pack so you can see how they all look and feel. It's pretty awesome. And it's $2. But back to the stickers, let's go do a setup. We're just going to pick vinyl stickers for this one like we did the other sites. Okay, I'm uploading the same one that we used before. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, check this out. <laughs> Okay, this is part of why I really like Sticker App. Look at this setup here. So I can go through, I can see, hey, this is what my sticker is going to look like. Now, for me, I don't like the white area to be that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the cut line here. I'm going to change it to small. Okay, so now we have it here. And it's a bit smaller. Now, what that did, though, is it changed my width down the bottom here. I want to make sure, again, that it's somewhere around 3 inches. So I'm going to move this up to 2.9. It's 2.9 by 2.7 with small, and that makes it so that an order of 50, oops, uh, an order of 50 of these will now be $46. Hey, now we're about the same price as Vinyl Disorder. So what they do is they adjust, so they know it's not going to be 3 by 3, so they adjust it to be what it actually is. So you're getting a more fair price based on your design. Some designs I have aren't 3 inches by 3 inches, they're 3 inches by 1 inch, and that's going to make a drastic difference in the price than a 3 inch by 3 inch. So I love that this site adjusts accordingly. I can also go through and click Material, and I can see the different material, what it would look like. Let's make this a glittery one. Oh, he's so glittery. Uh, and this changes the price of 50 of them for $61, which isn't that bad still if you think about it for a glitter sticker. And then all you have to do is click Add to Cart and proceed to checkout. Also, the shipping is free for Sticker App unless you want to get one of the expedited services, just like any other site that's going to cost you extra. So let's do a little recap of Sticker App. Pros, fair cost, good quality stickers, lots of choices. Cons, I honestly don't have much right now. If I had to pick one though, I would say I wish production and shipping could be just a little faster without having to pay for it. So that's it. That's my video on making stickers. If there's a company or a method out there that I did not show in this video, please let me know. I'm happy to try and do a review. And if you made it this far in the video, please hit the subscribe button. I know I'm new here, but I love making this content. I love making art, sharing the tips that I learned along the way, and interacting with all of you. So I hope to see you on the next one and have a good day. <laughs> Bye.